Hey Libra, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. So this is going to be your love reading for um, November 2018. Oops, no, this card flew in here. This is for Libra Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. So some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what does resonate for you. Don't try to force it to fit. Okay, um, this reading will be more along the lines of what's going on with your other person or with your person and what the energies maybe could be playing out for in November. Okay, um, so for those of you who are waiting for personal readings, um, finishing up the last batch tonight and tomorrow, okay? Um, so any requests for readings that I've recently gotten this week, they are on delayed and hopefully I will be able to free up more time. I tried to close my booking slots, but I don't know what happened. It just wouldn't let me do it. So um, I just want to give you that forewarning if you're requesting. Okay, so uh, let's see what are the energies for Libra and Libra's person. During November, now we're coming out of, we're beginning to transition out of uh, Venus retrograde. And, you know, they always say Venus retrogrades are just not a good time to start new relationships. So any of you who have gotten into some new uh, relationship in like somewhere around the end of October into November, if, they, if it fell apart or it didn't work out, it doesn't mean that it, um, it can't come back together after this retrograde, but there's a likely chance that it wasn't going to be able to be stable during the retrograde. So, oh, everything's happening here. <laughs> so um, we're coming out of that again, but we'll see how the cards play out. And these cards are so huge that they're really kind of hard to, they're bulky. Okay, let me just give a couple of shuffles here. So, um, yeah, November 15th or the 16th um, is when she goes direct. So, forward sailing, hopefully. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, okay, Knight of Swords fell out. So, we're going to start with that card. Okay, Libra, you have the Hierophant. And then you have the Six Cups. <laughs> what did I say? Eight of Wands. Princess of Discs. Five of Cups. Six of Pentacles, <clears throat> Seven of Cups, and Seven of Wands. Okay. Now I want to pull a card for from the Romance Angels just to look at the love energy for uh, November for you. What is the love energy for Libra for November 2018? What do they need to know? I don't think I will use these um, big white cards anymore. They're just too hard to handle. Um, maybe for December. Love energy. For Libra. I don't know. Maybe they don't want you to know anything. Religious factors, some type of a block between you and the other person. Um, religious upbringing, spiritual path, moral beliefs, that kind of energy. Um, that's something that, it doesn't mean that it can't be overcome, but it's something that, um, that is what the factor was if there was something um, 
from the past that made it difficult or something that's currently going on right now there needs to be a discussion about um, differences between you and your person belief systems are uh, uh, you know you, you guys might have been on the same page with your beliefs all through you know in general but there may be a couple of things that were just red major red flags that uh, need to you know be looked at oh gosh everything's flying oh well a card a card flew out and it fell on the floor so let me get that two cards fell past life relationship and separation okay you two are definitely uh there's definitely a connection here like you've known each other before this is a huge connection okay so whatever the block is whatever the difference differences are between the two of you uh, that's factoring in to why the connection or why there's trouble here um but there is a very deep past life connection it's almost like when when either when you met or when you meet or when you've met in the past um whatever it is there was some type of like wow i feel like i've known you forever there's just that connection there um but there is a, a separation here time apart from your partner is on the horizon so that may have something to do with some people or someone or you or the other person needing to sort things out okay let's take a look here the past situation knight of swords energy this was communication direct action travel connecting with another person okay so let me just tell you what signs are showing up here for those of you who feel more connected to knowing what the signs are there's taurus here um this is I'm seeing double Taurus here. So for a lot of you, there's a connection with a Taurus, which is kind of like your twin flame because you're both ruled by Venus. Um, so there is definitely that, there is a connection there with that. Um, there's also Virgo Capricorn. Okay. And I usually look at, you know, major Kana and court cards. Um, but if that doesn't connect with you, a Taurus, or and those earth signs, it's whoever your person is, okay? So try not to just hear a different sign and say, oh, it's not for me. Because if you're listening to this reading, if you were drawn here or brought here or you just came back, then this message is for you, okay? You were meant to hear something here. So let's go. The past position, again, the Knight of Swords, there was travel. Someone came to see you, you went to see them. Um, direct energy, communication, um, this energy played out and it was supposed to happen okay this could have been another air sign for some of you so um the knight of swords is is a movement card okay now the present energy is the hierophant and this is falling into suit this is a very deep spiritual connection um this is stable uh committed type of a connection the present energy i feel libra that you are still connected to this person in some way like if there was a disagreement um that cause that is still causing separation uh separation to me is always temporary okay it, similar to the three of swords to me is always temporary um there was uh, i feel that there might have been some type of um communication or disagreement of some sort that is has caused and is still causing a separation currently okay um but the present situation is that this is still a committed type of um connection it's it's going through a rough patch and um there are things that need to be looked at okay you you and the other person are just you're connected that's it it's it's already the deal is already sealed it's just trying to figure out a way to keep the glue from melting <laughs> because there is a little bit of there's a loosening there's a loosening that's happening and um there's some r repair that needs to be done so um 
you know, some of you could be married to this person or you could, you know, there's just a very um, spiritual connection with this person. You just, you're on the same page with each other. Okay, so the person that you're dealing with, their thoughts on the situation, the Six of Cups, they want reconciliation. They want a either they want an apology or they want to apologize to you um, but this is a card of pleasure too and so they're looking for that pleasury type of connection with you when they think about that your connection with them it brings them great uh, joy it makes them feel good and I do their thought is they want to reconcile with you they want to um he or she wants to reconnect with you again they want to reach out they want to offer you something kindness a gesture of love okay i actually feel like they need to apologize to you for something um maybe they said some things or they said something or even in the past the knight of swords can be very direct uh communication hasty uh, maybe somebody said something that they shouldn't have said, um, whatever the situation is. But I, I do feel that they want to reconnect with you again. So how this person, you know, what they think of you is um, the Eight of Wands. So this is a card about swiftness. So they do feel like you are... Um, you know, they, when they think of you, I feel like you guys had a lot of messages that went back and forth, and they miss that. Um, if you're currently separated from this person, they miss talking to you because the Eight of Wands can be messages, swift messages, news, positive information, um, and I feel like they do want to hear from you, and they this person does want some good news from you, positive news, maybe to try to make, you know, come back together or reconcile. Okay, um, they also think that you're a little fast, Libra. So <laughs> that energy mm, is playing out a little bit here. Um, especially if you're dealing with Taurus. Taurus is not like that. Taurus is very, uh, like the bull. They're very stubborn. They're stodgy. They're, you know, uh, I mean, they're, they're, they're great and fun to be around, but they're very, um, you know, the earth sign. They're very grounded and uh you're libra so you're you're just kind of like you're flirty and you're fun and that's your energy um but the connection cannot be denied at all i'm seeing it here and uh this is deep and this goes back like you you two have known each other for a lot longer than maybe you actually have okay um so how they feel about you they feel actually believe it or not with the princess of discs here they feel that you're very stable and they feel that you are um, financially stable you're able to make money or run a business um, so they feel they they actually do feel uh comforted comforted in your presence to some degree libra if you're female you may have children or you're a mother and so they feel that um that you're a very good mother or you, you care very much for your family and you're um i feel like they this person feels that you're very family oriented okay and they like that about you and i feel like that's something that they were drawn to those those qualities about you that you um you're a business man or woman or you have the, you know even if you're a father and you have children um, this person feels that you have the everything it takes and that you're not um, you're actually really focused you're a very focused person when it comes to your career when it comes to making money and the things that you do you, you try to live in abundance um, a lot of the time um, and maybe you Libra there may they may feel that you are a tad bit on the side materialistic and um, quite focused on money but I feel like that maybe that's what they see because you're Libra and Libra is always about partnership but so is Taurus if you're dealing with a Taurus with the Venus okay so um, what this person wants from you well the five of cups is here they don't want you to be disappointed in them because they do feel like maybe you are to some level um, But I feel like they want you to also 
move away from things that cause you disappointment in your life because you seem to allow things um, to affect you very emotionally. And um, there's also someone or some some people or a person in your past who has caused you much disappointment and pain and they want you to be able to finally walk away from that because they feel that you are still connected to that in some way and it's difficult for them to uh, repair a connection and that's why you're separated right now because there's uh, you're still hold they feel you know uh, what they want is for you to let go of um, past disappointments because you're still kind of like I don't feel like you're going around holding on to things and then uh, measuring with a yardstick every single person new that comes into your life uh, uh, measuring them to the disappointments you've had in the past uh, I don't feel like you're doing that naturally because I don't feel like that's your natural way I feel like you're doing that um, because you've had so much disappointment and um, it's kind of hard and you you do come across or come out with love with a whole new spring in your step every time but those disappointments seem to keep catching up with you and breaking down the connections that you have and so I feel like this person wants you to like finally put those disappointments in the past um they don't want to uh look at the negatives in this connection you know they 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 want you and they want you both to focus on the positives in this connection and and i feel like they're going to try to like you know reconcile with you or they're thinking about giving an apology to try to fix this connection um so in the position what you need to know about this person they are very generous this person oh wow they're just very very generous and again here i don't know if you can see you see that little um uh, glyph that figure hold on let me see if i can zoom it in <laughs> anyway that's the symbol for taurus so I don't know what's going on with you guys, but there's definitely a Taurus connection. Oh, I, it makes me mad. Now my OCD comes out and I want to make this work, but it's not going to work. So anyway, trust me. <laughs> That's the Taurus symbol. Okay. This person is very generous with their time, their money, and their effort. Um, they're very giving. And you know, in the um, Six of Pentacles Rider Waite deck, um, the illustration is that of someone who is um, uh, being generous to those who are in less fortunate positions and that person in that uh, illustration is holding the uh, scales which represents Libra okay so I don't know if this is a specific message for some of you it's really weird um, but again, it could also be Virgo. It could be Earth sign. But again, let's let's not go let's not go down the rabbit hole with the signs. You know who your person is. Either way, um, this person, what you need to know about them is that their intentions are to give. Their intentions are to help others. Their intentions are to. Um, I feel like they are. I picture them as someone who has the energy of like working in a soup kitchen or you know giving out clothes to the homeless <laughs> you know um, along those lines someone who volunteers their time or tries to inspire they're generous and and they they give to try to help others to bring peace and balance into other people's lives so you know this is very important significant thing about this person and I don't know why um, but you need to know this because this is their character and this is who they are and everything that they do stems from that now i know some of you could be listening and saying well that's not how he he or she was this person was like a cheater and then and that okay so if you don't want to hear the message and try to hear something different then just click off the video because i don't 
you know, your journey is yours and I'm just trying to bring the message and, and what I'm picking up. And of course, you don't have to hear the message and you don't have to take the message and go forward with that. It's entirely up to you. Once this video is over with, I'm out. So whatever you do at this point is up to you. Um, but this is what's coming through for me with this person. And if you were not able, and look, I don't want to say that, okay, this person cheated, but they were very generous. Well, you know, it cancels itself out, obviously. So you don't need a tower reading to know that. But, you know, I don't know, for some of you, this is very significant and it's something that you need to know. And, and um, I feel like this person will do anything for anyone. They really just take the, whatever they have and they give it. Okay, so your advice at this time is to not make any decisions right now, and that's great because uh, not commit to anything just yet with anyone um, emotionally because, again, if you're listening to this before the 15th or 16th of November, we're not out of Venus retrograde yet, so it's not time um, maybe to reconcile with this person or to um, try to fix something with them. Um, it's Keep your eye on the prize with what it is you're, you want. Um, you can keep your options open, of course, if you need to, um, because for whatever reason, um, your advice is just not to make any decision. When I say keep your options open, I don't mean go out and date 10 other people. It just means um, just sit back and just observe what your options are. It's not time to make the decision yet or to commit yet or recommit with this person just yet. Um, this is your advice. It's not theirs. So they might try to. And then you'll, you, you know, of course, if you want to get back with them, you can. It's just a tower reading. And this is, the advice is not major arcana. So it, it's very easily swayed. Um, but I feel like you need to take a look and see what's most important, like really what's most important to you. The outcome is a seven of wands. Okay, so stand in your truth. Um I feel like this is a card of victory. Well, it's after victory. It's valor. It's it's actually getting um, what... It, I feel like you were already a victor with this person, but something happened. But I feel like recognition is going to come to you and this person where both of you are going, you know, you'll get in this place where you'll realize that either it was miscommunication or a misunderstanding or you'll you know um realize that the past life connection was more important than um whatever the not more important the past life connection was stronger than whatever the blocks were and those blocks can be resolved okay um and i i feel like this situation towards the end of november going into december um will hold much victory for you and them. I don't know why I skipped my saying hold like that. It was so weird. Give me one second. I just want to, I don't know. I felt like pulling another card for the seven of wands, the outcome. And I don't usually do that, but you know, yeah, the devil. This is very, um, you guys are definitely not going to be a part. There isn't going to be, yeah, this is, again, as I was saying, separation is temporary. This is a temporary separation. But you guys, there is a very strong sexual attraction between the two of you. And um, this is Capricorn energy as well. It's very, uh, it's like you're just bonded. I was seeing that with the past life relationship connection. There is a very strong bond here with you two. It can be a little toxic. Um, it can be, uh, it's just not easily broken. And uh, I think the recognition is going to come f with that, that there will be, it, it will resume. It will, I feel like this person is going to try to, um, you know, they're thinking about trying to fix this or apologize or, or make it right. And then you're back, you're back to this devil energy where, you know, the connection is so strong, but the, the sex, the sex in the connection is prevalent is most is the biggest thing. And I think for both of you, that's something that you need to have in order to express uh, your love deeper and better for each other. And that, um, 
the differences that have happened are uh, just temporary, temporary separation. Um, but I'm seeing this reconnection here again, definitely with the devil card here. In fact, it's not even gone. It hasn't broken. It's just temporary on hold, temporarily on hold. Okay, Libra. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. That was for November. If you want to get a personal reading, links. Uh, the link is in the description box below. And as I said, um, the it's promised 24 hours, but I can't deliver that right now because I'm too overbooked. So um, if you're willing to wait, I great, greatly appreciate it. If not, um, thank you for inquiring, and I will see you guys in December. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye. -bye.